guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about preparation, uh, and in particular, talking about what kit I bring to the tennis court in my tennis bag. Now, an age-old saying that you'll probably be aware of is, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And I believe in this massively. I use this quote quite a lot, so if you know me, you've probably heard it quite a few times. Now, the reason it's so important in sport in particular is if you've got everything that you need for your training session or for your tennis match or, or any sporting match in your kit bag, you're gonna feel a lot more confident on that court or on that pitch. But also, you're gonna have things in that bag that are gonna help you to prepare yourself physically as well, which I'll go through in a second. Now, I made this video for tennis players, tennis coaches, but also tennis parents as well. And for tennis parents in particular, I'm not saying that you should be preparing your child's bag. In fact, actually quite the opposite. I think it's really important that we can encourage our junior players to pack their own kit bags. It's gonna help them in the long run in, in, with their life skills. It's gonna help them to become more independent and more organized. And it's gonna give them that extra responsibility and accountability so that when they do step onto the tennis court on their own to play a tennis match, they're gonna feel a lot more confident that they can deal with things on their own. Now, some of the things that I've got in my bag today, which I'm going to go through, will be great for tennis coaches, and I'm sure lots of tennis coaches out there have these things in their bag. Some of the things I've put in additionally, I would put in my bag if I were to have a tennis match. And of course, there's going to be plenty of other things that may be more suitable for you to bring onto the tennis court or the football pitch or whatever sport you play. So let's get into it. So we've got to start with the most obvious things. Now, I obviously pack my tennis rackets. Now, it depends on what sort of tennis player you are and how often you play. If you are new to tennis and you don't play an awful lot of tennis, then actually bringing one racket is fine. I actually bring a few more. So I've got, this is my racket that I use to, to play with. I've got a slightly lighter version of that racket, which I use for coaching if I'm doing lots of feeding. I find that the lighter racket just gives me a little bit more maneuverability when I'm doing lots of fast feeds for cardio tennis or something like that. I also have a spare version of my playing racket in case I break a string or if I need a restring because the tension's gone. Um, so, you know, depending on your game and, and the way that you play or if you're a coach or whatever, think about how many rackets you would need in your bag. Like I say, it's not necessary to have as many as me, but as a coach, I feel that having different options helps me uh, when I'm coaching. The second thing I pack in my bag is tennis balls. Now, when coaching, I don't really need these. I've got a you know, hopper of tennis balls, a lot of tennis balls, but it's always useful to have a fresh can, you know, just in case you'll fancy a hit or something. So it's definitely useful to have tennis balls. Uh, tennis match is gonna be quite useless without them. The third thing, this actually isn't in my bag today. It's a bit too big. Um, this is, in fact, a water bottle. Um, as a coach, it's crucial for me to stay hydrated when I'm working on the court for, for hours in a day, especially in sunny temperatures like this. So this is actually a lifesaver. Very kindly, one of my players actually bought this for me. I did have a slightly smaller version, and uh, in my naivety, I used it as a target for serving, and one of my players crushed it. So uh, I posted a picture of it uh, on Instagram, and very kindly, the next week, one of my has got me this replacement and it's definitely an upgrade so um yeah definitely bring a water bottle it doesn't need to be this big if you're only playing for an hour or two but uh, if you're a tennis coach definitely worth investing in a big kind of two gallon bottle so on to the next item you might laugh at these so i'm wearing a cap today it's a bit sunny i have a variation of my hat for when it's super hot so this one is amazing protects the back of my neck, keeps me cooler throughout the day. And then if it's a particularly hot day, maybe if it's a lesson that I'm not racing around the court in too much, I've got this bad boy. Yeah, I mean, you don't see many coaches in the UK wearing these, we don't get the weather for it, but I thought it was funky and it actually protects me from the sun. Okay. I think it's really important to pack layers of clothing in your bag. You never know when the weather's gonna change, but also, you know, when you get on court and you're wearing 
a few layers to warm up in. Now, once you get warm and you take those layers off, whack them in your bag, but it's really important that you actually put them back on after you play. You may not feel cold, you know, you might, may feel like you're sweating and you're still hot, but actually those muscles need to recover and need to stay fairly warm. You don't want them going from hot to cold super quickly. That's when you get injured. So definitely pack a few layers. I mean, today I'm wearing a t-shirt, I'm wearing a long sleeve tee over the top of it, and I've got my hoodie, you know, for after when I play. And also, I mean, not a necessity, but I come to the tennis court wearing my runners, my, you know, my more comfortable shoes for, for kind of walking around, they're lighter weight. Once I get onto the tennis court, put my tennis shoes on, and then afterwards, I'll put these back on as well. You know, not only is it for comfort, you know, the, the lighter trainers are good for just walking around in day-to-day -day life, but obviously I need to wear my tennis shoes on the tennis court. Also, if I'm playing on the clay, these tennis shoes tend to fill up with, with the, um, the artificial clay and so actually I don't want that being traipsed around the house. I bring a spare pair of shoes along with me as well. And final few things in this pocket. So these are things that I would bring in my bag if I were to have a tennis match or if I were to do a, a, you know, an intense training session. And these are to help me to prepare physically. So in here, I've got a, a lightweight resistance band. I use this band quite a lot to warm up before playing. Really good tool, definitely something if you're a player that plays in matches or somebody who, who kind of tends to get into some quite intense tennis on the tennis court, so useful to warm up with. I've got this, I think they call it a lacrosse ball, but it's um, basically a massage ball, size of a tennis ball, it's hard. It's got these bumps on it to help you to kind of relieve some of the, the knots that you've got in some of your muscles. So another good tool for kind of sitting down and massaging your, your calves on the floor or up against the wall if you've got any shoulder pains. Good tool. And my final piece of warm-up equipment is my skipping rope. Great for any sportsman. I mean, it's a, it's a good coordination tool, good for your fitness, really good way to warm up. I do have one more thing in this pocket. This is more relevant in these times as a tennis coach. So I've got a pack of disposable gloves. Obviously during these times, they are used for players um, if they wish to practice their serve and they haven't been touching the tennis balls in the session, they can put on that glove, um, you know, to make sure that there's no transmission of, of COVID. But, um, you know, that's something that's new to my kit bag. And, and if you're a player yourself, you probably won't need them. But as a coach, it's quite a good tool to have. So moving into one of the small pockets, got some hand sanitizer. So obviously before and after play, we'll wash my hands with this. Useful for coaches to have if you've got back-to-back -back lessons and um, you need to wash your hands. Obviously if you've got time washing your hands properly in, in the sink is definitely better, but um, this is a, a, a real help as well. And over grips. So, I like to put a new overgrip on my racket if I've got a match coming up, if um, my other one's starting to wear down. I just like the feel of an extra overgrip on top of my replacement grip. So an overgrip is just a thin grip that goes over the top of your existing grip. It makes the grip slightly thicker. So I'm a grip size three and I tend to have an overgrip over the top, but um, it gives it a slightly fresher feel. Um, I tend to I don't really like the really tacky grips. These ones are kind of in between tacky and, and chalky, so I like to put these on to give my racket a nice new fresh feel. Not a necessity over grips, but something um, that some players like to have. And in the final pocket in here, my sunglasses. Now, as a tennis player, I didn't actually like playing in sunglasses. I found it obstructed my vision a little bit but um, as a coach it's a lifesaver having these when I'm out on court in the sunshine for hours on end really protect my eyes and um, I bought these ones they've got their wrap around so they protect the whole of your eye um, but also they've got polarized lenses so you know tennis players you don't need to wear sunglasses you kind of get used to playing in the sun and you're not out there for hours but as a tennis coach definitely a, a good investment and if you're gonna get some sunglasses make sure you get some good lenses because it will be worth it. You've only got one pair of eyes at the end of the day. Uh, in this pocket as well, I've got a mini tripod, called a Gorilla Pod, one of the flexible ones. I use this with my phone. It's got an attachment on which I'm actually using on the, the tripod. Um, you're being filmed on at the moment. 
but um, great to put on the side of the court. You can attach it to the fence or the net post. You can wrap the legs around to, to attach it. Really good tool for video analysis. So I, I tend to video quite a lot of my players. You know, it might be video in their serve to show them what they could uh, be improving on um, and give feedback instantly. So mini tripod, great tool to have. And the final thing in here is my card reader. So again, with individual lessons or, or when players want to, to pay for their coaching or whatever, they don't have to pay with cash. They don't have to you know, pay with card. Actually, they can pay with their phone as well. So as a tennis coach, this is a great tool. You obviously don't need it if you're a tennis player, but if you run a coaching business or you've got your own coach, coaching program or you need to take any kind of money, uh, I use an iZettle. Definitely recommend it. And um, yeah, it just makes your whole business slightly more professional as well. So, that's my bag, that's what I bring to the tennis court. Obviously, in this bag, I probably wouldn't pack quite so much on a day-to-day -day basis, it's quite heavy, but if I've got a day of coaching, I'll bring the coaching necessities. If I'm playing a match, I probably won't bring lots of the coaching stuff, but I'll bring a bit more of the physical stuff, the warm-up equipment, and I'd probably pack a banana and something like that as well. I'm not one to have uh, energy drinks or, or sugary drinks like Lucas Aiden brings. I bring my water and a banana to you know top up my electrolytes. But um, yeah, that's what I pack. You may pack something slightly different. If there's anything extra that you think I've missed out, let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see what you pack in your bag. And um, hopefully I've helped you with a few ideas as well. See you soon, guys. Take care.